Hey guys, this is Cody with EJ in your PJs, and today I'm going to teach you how to make objects draggable. So first, we're going to create an image. We're going to add a component called Event Trigger, and we're going to add two new event types. We're going to add Drag, and we're going to and we're going to add Begin Drag. As you can see, I have the script called UI Drag here. Create a C sharp script called UI Drag. I'm just going to drag this into here. Let me show you what the script is. Okay, so as you can see, I have two floats right here, offset X and offset Y. And then I added a public void, begin drag, and I set what offset X and offset Y is. And then I created another void on mouse drag, so whatever's in here is going to happen when you drag the object. We set the position of the object, we create a new vector 3 for it, and we set the X to be the mouse position of the X axis, plus offset x, and we set the y to the mouse position of the y axis, plus offset y. Now we're going to drag our image right here, and let's set this to on mouse drag. And then we set this to begin drag. Now let's test this out, and it works. But watch this guys, this is something you need to keep in mind. If I switch this render mode to camera, let me just drag this camera in and then try moving it. Notice how it's moving really fast. So what you need to do is make sure your render mode is set to overlay. It cannot be on screen space, screen space camera or world space. It will not work. So just make sure it's set to overlay. And boom, there you go. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. In the next tutorial, I'm going to continue on the RPG series, so be ready for that. This is Coding with EJ in your PJs, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.